Uh, hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing. We're continuing our uh, series on prolonging blade life and today uh, tying into that we're going to talk about uh, tracking of the blade and when we talk about the tracking of the blades we'll show some, show some close-ups here in a little bit uh, but it's how it runs on each band wheel and, uh, and that affects of course it has to be stable and running in the same place or it will run back, we've talked about roller guides in the past, but it would run back against these flanges uh, while you're idling, not in the cut, and, and that affects it. But uh, the tracking is very critical. You want the uh, gullet of the blade to be out at the edge of the wheel, and, uh, and you want it to stay there. It doesn't need to move back and move forward. Uh, some of that's affected by the crown. I've talked about the wheels in the past. Uh, but you also need the ability on each wheel to be able to, to move that wheel out and, and back in or, or back in. Once you get it set, then it's not something you have to change all the time. And I'll show you a little trick on tensioning uh, that makes that come out just where it's supposed to. Uh, but this is something that's very important and uh, something that, that you need to know and, and your meal needs to have this ability. Uh, if it doesn't, if it isn't built with the ability to track each hinge uh, and, and each wheel with a hinge, uh, then you might need to look for, uh, for another meal. But we set ours up with that and, and we'll show you how we do that. We're on the uh, tensioning side. Uh, and this would be the outer side of, of our band mills that we build. This is the, the tensioning uh, hinge that hinges out right here and comes out. And so I'm not really talking about that right now. But these two plates, there's a hinge pin right here. And, and when I, it, there's a, a bolt and a nut right here. And uh, if we loosen these and open this up, and when I say open it, we're only talking about one turn. Uh, you know, a sixteenth of an inch, maybe just a little bit more than that. But I would turn like a half turn and then rotate my wheel in the direction of the cut, not, not the opposite, but in the direction that it will be cutting. And I can watch, and we'll get a picture of this in a minute or a video, and I can see where this is running on my, um, on my band wheel. And so I'll do that, and then these two plates right here with this, this on the other side, that, that's all there is over there, and that is the, the tracking hinge. And uh, we would do the same thing over there. So this wheel right here is adjustable here. The other wheel has a tracking hinge on that side that adjusts it. So when you originally set this up, when we originally actually set it up, when you come and, and pick up your meal from us, we have each wheel set already but they do have to be tracked individually. Once that is done and you lock these nuts in place, uh, technically you should never have to really track them again, but they have to be tracked uh, in the beginning. Uh, if you change band blades, sometimes the amount of tension you put on it comes into play and you may have to deal with it a little bit there according to, to what manufacturer would say how much pressure to put on it. Uh, and the more, more you tension it, that's the trick that I'll show you here in just a minute when we come around the other side, the more you tension it, the more it will move forward. And the less you tension it, the more it'll move back. And so you can do a little bit of tracking with the tensioning. The tensioning, which you do here, and we've talked about our spring tensioning device, uh, when you just stretch and pull tighter on that, that affects uh, how it tracks on both wheels. Uh, but originally, and from time to time, you may need, as things wear, you may need to track this. And it's very important to have that ability to track it so that you can keep it tuned right. And, and like I say, when you get it right, it shouldn't have to be affected. It's not something you do with every, every blade, but every three or four months, you know, if you see something odd, you can tweak it a little bit. It's very important. That keeps it, again, from running back on the flange uh, or running forward on the, on the uh, roller guide and, and not being able to control it. So all this affects how accurate your cut is, and if you're not making accurate cuts, then you're putting more stress in the blade, either the back of it or heating it up, and all that shortens the blade life. We'll go around the other side, and I'll show you how the tensioning and how it should look. If you see right here where we want this, we want the gullet of the blade to be pretty close to uh, even with the side of the wheel right here. So we're, we're out at maybe a sixteenth. That's fine. Even, even an eighth would be probably okay, but you want to be close. So if you get a wheel or if you get a blade and you put it on, I'm going to back off another round or two and spin it in the direction of the cut. 
like this and uh, you can see you may not can see that as well but it went back a sixteenth maybe a little bit more and when I tighten it up again you'll be able to see that thing I'm gonna go I'm gonna go forward about four rounds and you should be able to see that uh, come out now I'm gonna spin it in the direction that we cut just a couple of spins here and uh, now if you look you can see not quite out an eighth but we have we have some metal in the gullet coming out over the edge of that wheel so that's a little trick when I do the tension I'm making that come out on both wheels um, as, as I mentioned before uh, tracking if I'm tracking each wheel you have to use do that with each separate wheel a hinge there and a hinge here but if I put on a blade and it acts just a little different we can tension one round or two rounds uh, if you've got a jack, you know, one pump or two pumps, and you'll get the feel of that real quickly when you uh, put a blade on your machine and you'll have an idea. You need to do that uh, to what is recommended by the manufacturer because, again, you can put too much pressures on your blades. But, but one pump or, or uh, a, a round or so on tensioning it up uh, should be fine for your blade. So uh, that's uh, what we wanted to show you about the tracking. It's easy to do. But until you know about it, it's, it might, might seem a little complicated. But I, hopefully that simplified it for you. Really important in getting good long blade life.